The Dallas Cowboys are preparing for week one against NFC East Division rivals the New York Giants and coach Mike McCarthy just had a long press conference. He divulged that the Cowboys theme of the season has been officially set and that's Carpe Omnia, which is Latin for seize everything. Which you already knew that. You didn't even have to look that up. I mean, I know what Carpe Diem is. I'm not sure about Omnia. You're so much younger than me <laughs> that you don't know that Carpe Diem got popularized. Not because everybody speaks Latin, because we don't. Not even Latin speak Latin. Uh, Dead Poet Society. The, the, movie. the movie with the, the late Robin Williams where he plays a school teacher yeah. and tries to emphasize to his kids, carpe diem, seize the day. But yeah, Mike McCarthy, who's showing off his smarts here, because yeah. he also talked about, and, and he's, he's good at this, revealing a little bit to let us and then you yeah. know, listen, he's not just some dumb old uh, PE teacher. <laughs> so uh, he's put a frame, an empty yeah. frame, at the head of the meeting room mm -hmm. to suggest the possibilities are endless. What what can we put in that frame? As he says, a picture is worth a thousand words, but an empty picture frame can be filled with anything. There you go. And then marry that with not carpe diem, which of course the Cowboys would like to seize the day Sunday right. night uh, at the Giants, but right. seize omni means everything. Yeah. Seize everything. <laughs> uh, it's it's really a, a, a great stroke. Now, I don't know how well it fits on a t-shirt. <laughs> You're already resilient. thinking. Yeah. You're already thinking. Right. Well, my t-shirt, but also his. Because last week, last year, I think resilience was the theme, uh -huh. which, you know, is English. Yeah. Uh, and, and this week, we're going uh, old world and old school and old language. Carpe mm -hmm. Omnia, which, by the way, is pretty good advice for everybody, not yeah. just for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I love it. Coach Mike McCarthy had high praise for Micah Parsons saying that he actually is a great example of their new phrase for the year, which is Carpe Omnia, seize everything. Yeah. What do you think it takes for Micah Parsons to win Defensive Player of the Year this year? You know, he finishes second in, in each of his last go-rounds. Yeah. One thing that the voters, and no disrespect to the voters, <laughs> our media brothers and sisters uh, especially, we're looking at sack numbers. We love sack numbers. <laughs> and he's already made it clear that that might not be his number one goal this year. Right, and nor should it be. Right. Um, but he's a guy that goes and gets 13 and a half sacks. That's Sounds plenty. like he does want to score a touchdown this season, too. Well, there his is that. His competitiveness is off the charts. <laughs> Micah wants to do everything for his team. That And there's, uh, and for himself. Yeah. Uh, and there's your Carpe Omnia. Yeah. Uh, personally, 13 sacks, great. If Micah Parsons gets 20 sacks, he will win Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah. Uh, if Micah Parsons gets 20 sacks and the Cowboys go 12 and 5 or whatever, mm -hmm. he will get votes for MVP. And along the way, yes, he will also want to return punts, which he does in practice. He'll return a punt in practice. Right. Uh, I'm pointing right out there to practice. <laughs> he'll every once in a while, he'll, you know, just in warming up, Dak will throw him a, a pitch out and he'll yep. play running back. Uh, yeah. it, it is instructive to know that when he was six years old and all the way to high school, he did play running back yeah. and was like unstoppable. <laughs> uh, so I don't blame him for, for uh, his visions of glory in the NFL. McCarthy every once in a while, and it happened again this week, gets asked, what's the chance of giving him uh, a, a carry at the goal line? Right. For and it's an adorable idea yeah. until somebody gets their eye poked out. Maybe, maybe we should just let the running backs play. Hey, why don't we have Tony Pollard play linebacker? <laughs> Wouldn't that be adorable? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think it's a very good idea at all. But I do think that Micah Parsons, who likes to remind people that his nickname as a little kid was the Water Boy. Yeah. Because he like Bobby Boucher. You know that movie, I know right? That movie. Because he didn't know what he was doing. He just knew that whether he had the ball or didn't have the ball, he wanted to hit somebody. He's going to want to hit somebody in New York against the Giants. When Lawrence Taylor will certainly have his eyes on this game. Yep. One thing about Micah that I love is he's a perfect blend of still having fun on the field while also taking it so seriously. There's not a lot of players that I feel like meshes super well but with that. Um, you know, a great example of that and my conversation with our friend Michael Irvin. Mm -hmm. And, and I, was, I was having this talk with Irvin, I guess it was Micah's rookie year. And we talked about the idea that, that you need an alpha dog. Yeah. Uh, and somebody that, can, that will both, you know, figuratively punch the opponent yeah. he'll he'll punch his own teammate he'll punch himself <laughs> he'll laugh about it well right. all all those things leadership and then also the ability to conduct a press conference and know what a salad fork is for and know how to <laughs> knot a tie and all that adult stuff right 
And the more Irvin and I were talking about how Micah could be that, Irvin says, yeah, Micah could be that. Mm -hmm. The more I realized Michael Irvin was that. Right. So yes, you're trying to find another Michael Irvin. Yeah. Now, how rare is that? Maybe, just maybe, mm -hmm. in Micah Parsons, they have a Michael Irvin starter kit mm -hmm. when it comes to effort, intensity, fun, production, stardom, and enjoyment of it all, no question. Now, we know the Dallas Cowboys have handled the New York Giants as of late, but what do you think that the Cowboys must do? The number one thing for the Cowboys to win Sunday Night Football against the Giants, NFC East Division Showdown, what do they got to do? I do think you tuck your, if you're the Cowboys, yeah. you do tuck that in your memory banks. The Cowboys' history, mm -hmm. way before any of these guys were born, yeah. they, this team dominates the Giants. We've got this. Uh, the Cowboys in the last decade dominate the Giants. The Cowboys in the Dak Prescott era dominate the Giants. Right. And so when McCarthy says, you know, it's all new, the past is the past, um, reputations don't mean anything, they kind of do because you can take value in that. So I think that's a factor. Let me give you two other things here. Okay. Um, Dak Prescott and the interception thing. Right. And I've mentioned privately, it bothers him that everybody thinks that the interceptions were all him. Yeah. He doesn't, he's not gonna hold a press conference saying it, but it privately bothers him. He wants that fixed. Mm -hmm. And the way to fix it is run the right route. Mm -hmm. And don't, when you have your hands like this, don't let the ball bounce off your face mask. <laughs> Uh, so, number one, protect the football. Yeah. And psychologically, not just because you win games when you win the turnover battle, psychologically, how about no turnovers for Dak Prescott? Yeah. So we can put to bed this preposterous idea that it's simply in his DNA to mm -hmm. throw interceptions. So that's one. The other one, Saquon Barkley is a pivotal guy here. Yeah. And Daniel Jones can run, and they, they've developed other weapons. But I wonder if you don't take Micah Parsons in this game and – if you look at the depth chart, by the way, this week, he, he's listed as a linebacker. Mm -hmm. I think he should play linebacker. Yeah. If you put Micah Parsons over here at defensive end and Saquon Barkley goes that way, Saquon Barkley can win. Strength versus strength. You put Micah, Bar <laughs> you put Micah Parsons in the middle of the field yeah. opposite Saquon Barkley, and now, and I'm not saying the Cowboys should play a spy, but yeah. now I go where he goes. I think Micah Parsons, and by the way, they're they're very close friends from their Penn State days. Yeah. I think Micah Parsons keeping an eye on Saquon Barkley is a pivotal Cowboy defensive thing. Mm -hmm. And then Dak Prescott, physically, emotionally, all psychologically, yeah. and on the scoreboard, zero interceptions against the Giants. Yeah, I like those points. Those are good. Jerry Jones has said that he, quote unquote, expects Dak Prescott to be a Cowboy for a long time. Now, how does this get done realistically? And you speak Jerry Jones. What did you make of it? Yeah, Cowboy for Life is how we like to term it. Dak now is 30. Mm -hmm. And so to have a six-year extension, mm -hmm. uh, it takes Dak to age 36. That's pretty much Cowboy for Life. Right. The, the um, cloud hanging over their heads that they're all aware of, they're not uncomfortable with it, but next year he's got a $59 million cap hit. Yeah. That just won't play. And they know that, both sides know that. That's good for nobody. That doesn't mean he gets $59 million. Yeah. Um, otherwise he might say, oh, I'm good. <laughs> it's the cap gets $59. Yeah. I believe we're gonna wake up, roll out of bed one morning and it's gonna be done. Yeah. And there will be a massive extension. Now, does he move from 40 million a year to 50, 55, 40, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. More, um, does he make a, a little bit of a compromise? Mm -hmm to help the Cowboys cap-wise overall. Uh, there's other quarterbacks, obviously, who have done that. Right. But um, this has moved now from an off-season priority yeah. to an in-season priority, yeah. and Jerry and Dak are okay with it. Dak says, I trust the Cowboys front office just like I trust my own agent to get this done. Yeah. We're gonna roll out of bed one of these days and it's gonna be done. And hopefully it won't become such a thing. You know what I mean? If they can just get it done, don't have to be up against the deadline. Right. Maybe that will be a little bit less of a media circus. For the thing that the media circus part that you'll never get away from, it's still going to be $40 million or $50 million or whatever. And until the Cowboys win big, yes. and maybe even when they do, yeah. somebody's still going to make an issue out of that. And that, that makes the Cowboys unique in a way. Nobody's doing this with the other big money quarterbacks right. who haven't won Super Bowls either. Mm -hmm. um, Herbert hasn't won a Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson hasn't won a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Lamar Jackson hasn't won a Super Bowl. Uh, Joe Burrow hasn't won. Josh Allen. Yeah.